Hi. Hi. My name is Barbara Case. What is yours? <laughs> Introduce me to your truck. Show me your truck. That is my truck. Right. That is George Alfred Case's truck. Right there is George Alfred Case's truck. What kind of truck is that? Well, if you one. don't know, I can't tell you. <laughs> big one. It's a big... It's a big Dodge Dually. Yeah. yeah. It's called Miranda. Miranda. Its name is Miranda? Its name is Miranda. Uh, is that right? Uh-huh. I thought about calling it Mariah. Mariah? Uh-huh. Here, I'll take you out and Remember the song, Mariah, the wind is something, uh, Mariah. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, Mom. <laughs> Here, I'll take you Turn out. Turn that thing off so I can walk by you. You can walk by me. Go ahead. You're going to back John Ray up and down in your Matthew. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Am I going to... Don't run it out. That's dumb. Stop it. Now quit it. I'll hit you in a minute. <laughs> Oh, you're so beautiful and you have such a sweet disposition. How about olives or pickles? There's a green one. There's the other green one. There's the other green one. There's the other green one. There's the two colors. Okay, the there's some black olives on there and a couple of pickles. Like it? That's What's the bar? A couple of pickles. Come here. No, I don't like it. Right. What's up? Uh, use them claws and paws. That's what you got them for. How's that? Yeah. Look good. There's some butter going your corn. No. Yeah, you got butter on it. Okay. Um. Want corn? Is that it? You want corn? Daniel, can me a fork, Mom. Move over here for your grandma. You got her seat. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Good that way. All right. You got it. Say thank you. Thanks a lot. How about this? No, you go ahead in there. I don't trip and fall. What happened to your pocket? And he's tucking in. Oh, he's tucking in. Okay, don't stab yourself. Oh, he's a very careful little boy about it. Okay, how about? He tries not to spill. Aren't you going to sit down here? You're talking what to I, me. Are you going to sit down? You're talking to me. Yes. Are you going to sit down here? Yes. Later. Daniel. In a minute. Scrambolly. Well, he can. No, he's all right. He's he's all right. Right. He can't sit right there. Right there. Are you going to sit here? Huh? Yeah, I can right. sit there. Just sit in somebody's lap. Oh, I'll sit in Chris's lap. Uh, that's alarm. Sister, when you open the door, it goes ding, ding. Yeah. Tried it the other day. Tried it? Pretty good. Works pretty good. Lights were flashing. Sirens going off. I didn't get a phone call. I didn't get a phone call. What are you doing? Maybe I was on the phone talking to mom. <laughs> That's the worst part of it. I, I'm going to hook it up. I, I forgot to hook up the tow. See, it phones out also. So. so I forgot. I didn't have the phone connection. But uh, I got a call out there in Spanish. Come save my house. The burglars are walking away with me. Can phone up to four people. And, and nobody answered? No, I didn't have a good... Well, I you and her were on the phone, and I was telling me to tell John to answer the phone. I didn't have it connected up. Uh-huh. <laughs> we'll have to plan on doing that, because I'd like to hear how it monitors everything. Well, when you get over there, I'll go ahead and actuate it. I'll call you before okay. I actuate it. Okay. I think and, that's your money. And then you chair. can, you know, it'll, it'll phone you just like I'm phoning. Then, then when, you, when it comes in and you hear the message I've got on there, you then if you dial burn. zero, then you got a speaker, a receiver on the unit, and then you can monitor it from your phone and tell what's going on. Of course, by mm -hmm. then all the bells and sirens, whistles and lights are going on. I don't know what the hell you can hear with it, but mm -hmm. you can monitor it. All you got to do is dial zero. After the message. Can you talk okay. through the monitor? I don't know. 
Yeah. We'll find out. Um, we'll try to see what happens. Each out of that car uh -huh. the house, the police are on the way, you stupid idiot. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Custard, you want on the barbecue or something? Oh, I have one. I'll have another one soon. Another? Two bowls of this stuff. Is there right. enough here for an army? That looks good. Is that good milk? Yeah. <coughs> you got the flint stones on it, don't you? Got the flint stones on it. Hey, Grandma, you slap me some of that meat on there. On the bun. Mm -hmm. Sesame Street. Yeah, that's good. How much, how much Delectable as usual. Uh, yeah. How much did you have? What did you have? A pork shoulder. Little more, little more, little more, more barbecue sauce. A pork shoulder and what else? Two shoulders. Two shoulders. Yeah, it's pretty good. Thanks. I like to. I like to eat this. Good. I like this. Like Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I want to eat this. Way. I want you to take some at home with you too, because that's. I had frozen some, and uh, the cook, and when James and Katie got it, have everybody over. But his freezer burned after a while, so I went in and got the whole three of them. Oh, the only thing I can see. What do you want? What do you want? Of course, there. Oh, freeze. Right, John. One thing. You don't have no way to cook it. Take some of it home, and you don't want to bring out freezer. Or a wrist, mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. I can make a lot of sandwiches with that. Element. So you can set it for whatever texture you want to set. But I, I'm sure that you can buy all the rest. You know the word. Finger the whole of the rock. Yeah. Oh, all the trails, Jerry. All the trails, not the wrong I've got a set. 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 I've don't they have those little fingers in Kmart? They've got some right there. Yeah, I got some. Yeah, I got some. Yeah, you got to get, we well, got to look for them. I need a set. There's three. Ten minutes. That holds a rack on, right? Pass me the coat, please. I thought we got a set over here. We got some of the exchange, remember that no. we got them? Okay. The rotisserie that I don't think will fit that. Drill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it ought to fit that other little one. Yeah, we got enough, we got enough shit in the We got two smokers. And I got one of those great... They've got one of those. There's a biscuit mix. She never... Uh, uh, had a cow, always biscuit mix. What store it was, though, that she sold the milk for the... These biscuits came out new here. George said, dude, I made them. But when I was done, I just put the water in the used to piss her sister off. <laughs> I don't know what it was with that kid. Never grew up. She sat there. She said, yeah. You know, you know how people make fun of their mother-in-law? I couldn't do that. I, I didn't have no grounds for that. Kid. Sit there and she said, Joe, would you, would you like, uh, you know, this or that, you know? And uh, she didn't hand it over to me. Sister Holly got pissed off at you one time for a second. He ain't crippled, Mama. <laughs> He's got two hands, Mama. He can reach over and get his own food, Mama. I said, what the hell is this? A goddamn boarding house here? What is this shit? Your mother wants to get me some, you know, George, always jumping on her mother. No, no, I'm fine. How about some dessert? Oh. And that's one thing I will say. Uh, you come in that house. That sounds strawberries good. You would never. What, honey? Wildest dream. What you want to I was a son in law. <laughs> no way. I think we got us some winter here, Grandma. Oh, she, you know, we got along real well. We got along real well. That night. But that's the way she was, you know. And she's always saying, <coughs> What's your position than any of the others? Are you sick? Did you have a sick one? I said, I said, why do you say that? She said, well, you're not eating anything. I said, hey, we got a garbage dump I'm sitting next to over here. That was her, her son, say, the 15 year I said, we got a garbage dump over here. I said, you're looking at this kid putting away. He ate a dozen biscuits for breakfast. <laughs>
I'm not kidding. Cross my heart and hope to die. Kitties eat a dozen biscuits. And they weren't these little wimpy things, you know, like that. They're almost the size of them. Those jobs there. My uncle did that. He did a dozen biscuits. They were that size. Yeah. Every morning with with uh, sorghum, on, sorghum and butter. And then he would eat pork chop, yeah. ham. My aunt was just like you were talking. About. She had a table about twice as long as this one, and it was just loaded. I tell you, if uh, you you could never walk away from that table. I'd never see a feeling hungry. Kitchen in my life. And I'm helping to this oh no, darling. You can't do it. You can kiss me as I am. And I couldn't. I couldn't do it. And we sat down at dinner and I started my witness to take away from there all the way to that stove. Hot. And I'm just sitting there. Oh, 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 this is supper. Okay. And they came in and there, and, and there was people. All the way around. And there was ham, everything. Yeah. Steak, everything. Hey, we got up for breakfast. Chris, you want some syrup? And I'll have a couple of spaghetti. And it was the same thing. Take this with Biscuits that big around. I just saw. I never saw biscuits hardly. But biscuits that big around. Just fascinating. Oh, gosh. Biscuits that big around? Well, a lot of times, you know, you watch out. You know, somebody, somebody had stopped at the visit. And they couldn't get out of there without, you know, well, hell, they were grabbing them. Hey, oh, well, I've already eaten. Well, sit down and have a cup of coffee. So while they're telling them to sit down and have a cup of coffee, they're fixing this poor sucker a plate, see, <laughs> of food. Well, here, try try Mama's this or that. Next thing you know, I said, oh, well, I'll just take a little bite. Hell, he's eating the whole plate of it. Just got through eating breakfast. What gets me is these breakfasts, when they go out, they're going to plow. It, it, they'll be finished with breakfast, and they're going to plow the field. They have already yeah. built. 10 cows maybe, they will go out and they will plow until noon, they come in and they eat another big bat, they will go out and plow or chop wood, grab hogs and throw them on trucks. I mean these hogs are 300 pound hogs. And uh, until uh, that night, almost dusk, and they come in and they eat again. Well they have expended a tremendous amount of energy. Yeah, oh, better than that, you know. Uh, I'd say back, you know, years ago, uh, because everything was done mostly, majority of it was done a lot of manual labor. Uh, I'd say that a, a, a working man on the farm would have spent right around 4,000 or 4,200 calories a day. Oh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, you know, where the average working man in the city would do, what, 3,200? But, uh, I mean, they work hard. The average working man needs about 2,000 calories a day. Uh, but those people on the farms, because they repair tractors, they were working. From the time they got up, they ate, they worked, they ate, they worked. Oh, it's they mine. Well, Jean and I got married. Her dad was in his 50s when we got married. And uh, it's about, uh, how was it, about 55, 56 when we got married? And I'd watch him at that age, and even he growing up to when he's almost 70. And he bought his feed and stuff in 100 pound sacks because it was cheaper to buy it by 100 pound sacks rather than 50s or 25. But occasionally, Mom would get him to buy some of the smaller types, <coughs> and he'd make a deal with a guy to give him four sacks of 25 for the same as 100. So yeah. He's pretty savvy. I was talking about something. He parked you, Buck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do. He said, why do you keep saying that, Joe? I said, because you can stretch a dollar. And the only people I know can do that are Jews. He said, where do you come up with this stuff? You know? I said, because I was raised around Jews. That's why. I watch them stretch it. And he said, well, why do you ask me that? I said, well, I noticed. I said, usually you're buying a feed in a 100-pound sack. I, I, I knew, he said, because Mama wants the material on the feed sacks to make whatever it was she's making. 
certain feeds he'd buy because there'd be a towel stapled on the outside of the feed sack or washcloths down inside. And certain sacks, uh, it's, uh, like gingham, they could make dresses for the girls. See? Or put them together. We make drawer tape yeah. flower shack yeah. shorts. Yeah. 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 Don't go around. Rabbit feed sack. Yeah, I remember one guy down there. We made out that. He had a he had a lawnmower. It was a, kind of an oddball name because they were used to the company usually made kitchen appliances. That's why it was so hot. I'll think of that name. Guy called him and he said, "Hey, Buck, boy, lady says you, you need to get your lawnmower." He says, you can't be pushing that. He had one of those real type jobs. Man, look at this nice one. Sunbeam. I thought it was Sunbeam. No, no, no. And it was nice. He says, yeah, that's nice. He says, well, he says, uh, he says, I can't, I can't afford a, a, a lawnmower right now. I ain't got the, oh, he says, that's all right, Buck. He says, you don't have to worry about that. He said, no, he says, I ain't, I ain't getting nothing on credit, he says. Ain't no way I'm going to do that, man. So then he used to drive this guy nuts, and the guy used to drive him nuts. <laughs> Every day we'd go into town, go by the hardware store, and the guy'd spot him and run out, hey, buck, 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 come on. Go through the same spiel, same talk, same thing. Finally, the guy says, you know, you need some more tea or want some he says, ain't nobody's telling me he knew I was a son of one. He says, you know, he says, ain't nobody in town ever been able to get a buck to buy anything on credit. <laughs> nobody I know. He said, I'd like to get it just so I can go around town and brag about it. <laughs> I said, well, yeah, I don't think you're going to do that. He says, I come up with an idea. He says, he told him, he says, look, I forget what the lawnmower costs, something like maybe $200. He said, I'll sell you the lawnmower, just pay me $10 down, $10 a month, and I won't charge you, you no interest. Mm -hmm. uh, how's that sound to you? I said, hey, no interest? You're using his money? He's going to let you take a couple years to pay it off, man? So he went ahead and bought the lawnmower. This guy ran around town and said, I done sold Buck a lawnmower on credit. He says, oh, you're crazy. You ain't selling that on credit. You don't never buy nothing on credit. He says, he bought a lawnmower for me on credit. He, he thought that was the greatest achievement of his life. You remember your dad bought that sunbeam? Only thing I ever knew him to buy on credit. When he died, when he died, you know how much debts he had outstanding? Ten dollars. You know who that was to? Well, the doctor that seen him the week before. Let me check that. That's all he has. You wanted to make him a mad man, send a bill. Oh, yeah, send a bill. Sometimes he'd buy some, he'd say, well, I'll uh, get the money to you on Monday. Don't you send me a bill? He'd be right there on Monday with the, with the money. In person. Somebody sent him a bill one time and chewed him out. He went right up in person and chewed his ass out. So he wasn't going to do business with one. You know, uh, he didn't know a, to do right. a lot of Japanese are that way. Yeah. If you send them a bill, you are insulting them. Insulting them. Yeah. You're, you're saying that, that, that they're not paying their debts, you know? And he just called it done. He wouldn't call so it you a gotta, bill. If you're in business and you have Japanese, real Japanese, you got to be careful. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what happened one time. I don't know if oh, uh, thanks, Grandma. needed to cash a check or borrow some money or what. I can't remember. But he took me down to the bank and uh, introduced me to the bank president. And I can't what recall what it was. Um, it's the... And, uh, it's the seven? It's the May... Yeah, seven. Maybe I, 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 I can't, it's vague. Yes, yeah, the seven. But whatever it was, whether I was going to borrow money or cash a check or something like that. And I said, well, I got some idea. I'll show you. The guy says, no. He said, I don't need no idea. He says, Howard is your father-in-law. That's good enough for me. And I think he loaned me $100 right then and there. I think that's what it was. I didn't sign nothing either. Didn't sign a thing. But uh, 
you know, in a small town like that, that's the way they deal with each other. Yeah, sure they, is. I remember that time I went to visit them in the summer, was it? He took me down to bought me two pairs of blue jeans and got my uh, smallpox shot. I don't know. Yeah, we come back, I got short, dude. She wasn't too old that long. Six, seven years old, something like that. So that was, so that that was in the third grade, I think, when we came. Palmer, are you recording? First grade. Yep. No, she was, this was He's still recording. 61. Oh. Remember 61? So that made, made her about second year. Yeah, she was in first grade. First or second grade. <coughs> I know we stayed in McKenzie. So they were staying because, like, we come down there. It was like end of February or March sometime. So uh, they stayed with their. <laughs> Jean's folks. Oh. And we figure, well, we'll wait until she finishes out the school year, which only had like three months. Uh, right? off, honey, go to school for a month. You're recording once was right here. here. Is the red light on? Yeah, I was, yeah, it was, it was always, always, always on. right there, and I don't want anybody to touch it and move away. <laughs> While we were down there, they had a storm. Real bad. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> well, I'm holding out. Check and see where it's at. They don't, very few of them have any basements. Maybe in the city or something. But the ones out there, they are sitting on like cinder blocks. She just you know? said. Oh, well, I don't. Come along, they had a tree next to Well, it's a great picture of Grandma's back. Big wind come along, lifted the house up off the foundation, dropped the house back down, knocked the tree over there. Everybody was hysterical. <laughs> Ever since then, she's been scared of storms. And everybody got upset about it. Yeah. They had one company there at home. 